collector boosters vary from set to set and have a lot of different slots. So what's exactly in an all will be one collector booster? Alright, let's break it down. There are 14 normal cards, one basic land, and one foil double-sided token. Starting with the basic land, it'll either be a panorama or phyrexianized basic land, both of which are equal rarity, so you won't get more of one than the other. No matter which you get though, it'll be traditional foil, so that's really awesome to see. You'll also get four traditional foil commons and two traditional foil uncommons, both of which should be the standard versions of the cards and not anything, you know, borderless or fancy or showcase or anything like that. Next, you'll get a foil that is either rare or mythic. It'll be a rare 86% of the time and a mythic 14% of the time. Again, these are just the traditional foil rares and mythics. No special treatments, no special foiling. After that, we get a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to do a little bit more describing of what's actually in the slot. Next, you get a non-foil extended art rare. These are in every set and are basically the stretched art. Unlike borderless cards, these share the same art as the normal cards, just stretched to the edge. This will always be rare and will never be mythic. These are also only found in collector boosters, whereas a lot of the other variants we're going to talk about today can be found in all sorts. This is a collector booster exclusive, and this slot will always be a non-foil extended art rare. After that, you'll get an extended art rare or mythic that is a commander or jumpstart exclusive. It's basically the same as the previous slot in terms of style, but it's just pulling from a different pool of cards. It'll be a rare 92% of the time and a mythic 8% of the time. Again, these will be the non-standard legal commander cards and the standard legal jumpstart cards. Next, you'll get a non-foil Iker, common or uncommon. These are the super stylized cards, or at least one of them. They will never be anything above uncommon in terms of rarity, and it'll be a common 63% of the time and an uncommon 37% of the time. After that, though, you'll get a traditional foil Iker, common or uncommon. This is literally the same as the last slot, but just in foil. And it will not be the fancy Phyrexianized foil, or what they're calling step incomplete. It'll be the normal foiling process on an Iker common or uncommon. Next, you'll get a step and complete foil of any rarity. These will be a variety of cards with special Phyrexianized foiling process that make them look really interesting. You'll get a common 38% of the time in the slot, an uncommon 29% of the time, a rare 22% of the time, and a mythic 11% of the time. Again, what's really fancy about these are the little Phyrexianized symbols, and this can be any type of card that can have Step and Complete, which includes the Iker cards, the Borderless Concept Praetors, the Borderless Manga cards, and the Phyrexian Language cards. So basically, it's one of those styles with the fancy Phyrexianized foiling that you should be seeing on screen now, and it will be a random variant that has it. So it might be an Iker Common, it could be a Phyrexianized Rare, it could be, you know, a manga-themed Planeswalker. It, this one is the most variant slot of all of them. After that, you'll get a non-foil Borderless Rare or Mythic. There's a lot that can be in this slot, but it will be borderless. So it'll be a borderless fast land 13% of the time, an Iker rare 41% of the time, a rare borderless manga card 25% of the time, a mythic Iker card 13% of the time, a borderless manga mythic planeswalker 3% of the time, a mythic Phyrexian language planeswalker 3% of the time, and a Mythic Rare Borderless Concept Praetor less than 2% of the time. That's a lot of different cards. The final slot is very similar to the previous, just in normal foil, and throw in the Extended Art cards as well as the Commander Extended Art cards into this slot. These will always be traditional foil, so it's essentially any of the booster fun, which is what they call it, any of the variants in traditional foil can be found in this slot. With an exception, and we'll get into that. So taking a look back, let's look at the styles. You'll get one step and complete foil, and this is the only way to get them. It's one per collector booster, and it's a random rarity, and no other types of packs have them. You'll also get at least one extended art, one borderless, and one fancy foil art rare or mythic. You'll also get a couple Iker cards in there. The only type of card that you can't get in a collector booster is an oil foil, which are exclusive to the completed boosters, Stay tuned for a YouTube short coming out where I actually break down exactly what's in all of them, but basically all of the Mythics have an alternate raised foil version with new art that are found in a special type of booster found in a special type of bundle. It's kind of complicated, there's some cool basic lands in there too, so stay tuned for that video. 
Either way guys, that's exactly what's in a collector booster for All Will Be One. If you found this video useful or helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to see more, check out this video where I break down the top 10 most expensive cards in All Will Be One.